<laughs> oh, welcome to Zero for Hire podcast. I'm your host, Zero for Hire, and I am having the heartiest laugh of all hearty laughs. Um, <laughs> I'm driving, I'm listening to the news, and I had to pull over and get my recorder out so I could talk about this because I read something about this on X, and the, the typical formula goes... When you read something on X, it's probably not true because there's a lot of crazy rug going around right right now on X. But one of the, you know, uh, spit and vinegar filled CG artists was complaining about Spawnuary. So for those of you who don't know for whatever reason, Spawnuary is when all of the indie artists pretend to like Spawn again. Like, they forget about them all year long, and then come, you know, whenever they do the announcement, then all of a sudden they remember that they like Spawn all of a sudden. Even though nobody can tell you what the story's about, doesn't matter what the story's about. He's got a red cape. He's got a red cape and green powers. That's all you need to know. So, they all start drawing their little red cape, green power pictures. And I'm, look, different people are into different things. This is why I'm not an illustrator. Because I'm not into this. I'm not into it. Um... But I don't want to bury the lead. I'll, bear, I'll, I'll tell you what's going on, and then I'll make fun of it. So, according to the uh, post on X <laughs> and, and some other news that is apparently supporting it, <clears throat> one of the winners of Spawnuary was created with AI. Why is this important? Well, artists have been. <laughs> artists have been up in arms and super pretentious in writing long Atlantic style articles about how AI is stealing and AI is going to ruin the world and it's so bad and blah, blah, blah. And it's like you guys would have been better to spend your time working on your style and on your craft and being better artists so that when you drew something it was obviously better than the thing that you hate so much because you know what doesn't write long diatribes about how much it hates something ai (laughs) jeez oh you guys got so much egg on your face for all the virtue signaling of ah wrote it without ai and and this contest will not have ai and Oh my god, it's so funny. I'm laughing at you so hard right now because this is what happened. Okay, so this happened last year, two years ago in, um, I think it was a Sony photography contest. And there was this weird freaking photo where the lady had her hand backwards and everything. And I said back then, I gotta turn the engine on, it's really hot. Turn this AC back on. And it, she had this um, weird, like her thumb was backwards or something, these two women. And, and so I learned early on, these contests, they don't matter. They don't matter. Like, you spend all this time making sure things are in focus and making sure the background is perfect and making sure the lighting is right and you got the colors and you do all this crap. And then who wins the contest? Like, some some tranny with a tiny penis dressed up like Venus you know, like, it's, it's ridiculous, it's ridiculous, like, this is the stuff that wins, you know, AI generated crap, and something with a, you know, some tranny with a tiny penis, and 
you know, like, uh, what was it? Like a guy with a turban looking out the window at a gay pride parade. Like, that's the stuff. It that has nothing to do with talent. They don't care. This is a reflection of the culture and the judges and how they put their weird political biases on the front end of everything. And that's why they're not looking to, to, to make sure that AI doesn't slip through the cracks. Like, if you're a judge, then you should know what you're looking for. You're looking at strokes and, and lines and digital art and lighting and all of these techniques that can be used. And AI is always nonsensical. There's always a giveaway. And I mean, made with AI is definitely different than made by AI because a good artist who's going to use AI is going to generate first and then they're going to go in and fix all the mistakes. <laughs> But a real good artist is not going to use AI at all, you know? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, and I shouldn't even say that. Like, AI is a tool that's going to be used now. You guys might as well get used to it. So for all your griping and crying and whining and complaining and long freaking blog posts and stuff, you should be right, right, like working on your craft instead. That's what all I've been saying this entire time. You should be easy to work with. You should be personable. You should be working on your craft. You should be able to follow directions. You should know what you're talking about. And then you wouldn't have this problem because you'd be too busy winning. You'd be too busy winning instead of AI stealing your victory right from under your nose. And yet, at the same time, it's a little bit of a contradictory statement because none of this matters. None of this matters. The judges... Are going to pick what the judges like. It has no art is not like athleticism. It's not like fighting where there's a clear winner. You know, it's not like you get two guys with like one's got a baseball bat and the other one's got a shovel and they just go at it and the last guy left. Them. That's not you know that's a clear defined winner. You get four people and they all run as fast as they can and the first one that crosses the finish line is the winner. That's a clear you know art's not like that. Music is not like that. And that's why it's so stupid when people have these huge egos and they're just like, I'm the best and blah, blah, blah. Because the judges are never uh, objective. Never. They're never objective. They half the time don't even know what they want. They're, they're like picked by somebody who's running the contest and they're just, you know, it's like nepotism or this is my neighbor or this is a friend that I get along with so you can be a judge too. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. None of it matters. And then the, the funniest thing on top of all of this is that nobody actually likes Spawn. Like, you guys pretend like you love, oh, my Spawn. I, I won't hear nobody talking any jack squat about Spawn for 10 months out of the year. And then all of a sudden, everybody likes Spawn when he announces a cotton. Get out of here with that crap, dude. Nobody knows what Spawn is about. Nobody reads Spawn. We all watched that crappy movie with John Leguizino. We were like, ah, no thanks. <coughs> I don't know, man. It's it's not like, I'm not saying that Spawn is trash or McFarlane's trash. Like, McFarlane's a great artist. He does some good stuff. But, yeah, I am saying Spawn is trash, dude. Nobody knows, likes that story. You guys sitting here acting like you like it <laughs> only to lose out to AI. Like, that is the funniest thing of the year. Anyways, um, that's all I got right now. TheLastDayComic.com. You can <laughs> you can check it out. I really shouldn't need me attaching my comic to this video, but I gotta. Um, TheLastDayComic.com. Check out the, uh, the co upcoming comic that I'm working on. I'll keep you guys updated. Join the Substack. I will see you on the next video.